One of the best feel-good stories this NFL season has been Josh Dobbs. He's been on three different teams just in the past three months and has been traded twice over that span. He has played in every single week of the regular season and even played in the last two weeks of the regular season last year for a completely different team. Josh Dobbs has literally been all over the place and very close quickly he's becoming fans favorite journeyman Josh Dobbs is really the new Ryan Fitzpatrick or Josh McCown every time you look up he's on a new team and he's still starting Dobbs has quickly become loved across the league and this dude just has an incredible story and now he's truly making his mark Dobbs showed up to Minnesota ahead of week nine and didn't get any snaps in practice he had just been traded he he didn't even know some of his receivers' names. Oh, don't even start. I'd probably, um, if, if we had to pull up a roster, I had to go names, um, I would be I'll be a bad teammate today. <laughs> yeah, I know, knew Alex. I knew a lot of first names. Alex, Brandon. Um, I know, like, a lot of nicknames, per se. Uh, but, yeah, names, names, that's, uh, that's, that's for this week. That's an assignment for this week. So He was not supposed to play fifth round rookie Jared Hall was the week nine starter of course the Vikings ended up in a quarterback mess after Kirk Cousins ruptured his Achilles so they decided to trade for Dobbs in a conditional seventh for a sixth rounder and it did not take very long for him to see the field after Jaron Hall suffered a concussion Dobbs came in on very little notice and was literally teaching his offensive lineman his cadence on the sideline you never see anything like this not well prepared doesn't know some of his receivers his linemen don't even know the cadence it's a true mess and it didn't matter Dobbs threw for 153 yards and scored three total touchdowns as the Vikings came from behind to win 31 to 28 it was just absolutely incredible and you know what he's actually played pretty decent this season Dobbs started the first eight games of the year for the Cardinals. Kyler Murray was still recovering from a torn ACL. Arizona surprisingly released Colt McCoy, who was expected to be the starter until Kyler got back. And then they decided to trade a fifth rounder for Dobbs and a seventh from the Browns, who Dobbs had spent the offseason with. Now, things were not very pretty in Arizona. They went one and seven with Dobbs under center. But honestly, for what it was, he actually played pretty well. He passed for 1,500 169 yards, eight touchdowns, and five interceptions, and he rushed for 258 yards and three touchdowns. He proved that he was a viable replacement at quarterback for a needy team. Dobbs has now played in 11 straight weeks of the regular season, dating back to last season. He ended up starting the last two games of the year for the Titans. Ryan Tannehill was hurt, and Malik Willis was just really, really struggling, so they put all their faith in Josh Dobbs. He had a shot to take the Titans to the postseason, but ultimately, Tennessee did lose both games as Dobbs threw for 411 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions over the span. Now, taking it back, Dobbs was actually drafted back in 2017, but his first NFL start did come in that Week 17 Titans game. That just shows how long of a grind it's been for him, and here he is, finally getting his shot. He's been on three different rosters this year and he was on three different rosters in 2022 as well. Before he was with the Titans, he was on the Lions practice squad. And then before that, he was actually on the Browns who ended up waving him after Deshaun Watson got back from his suspension. So Dobbs was a fourth round pick in 2017 to the Steelers. His rookie season, he was stuck behind Ben Roethlisberger and Landry Jones. Then he was actually the backup in 2018 and saw the field a few times after a few Big Ben injuries. In all, he appeared in five games and completed six of 12 passes for 43 yards and an interception. Then ahead of the 2019 season, he was traded for the first of three times to the Jaguars for a fifth round pick. Mason
Mason Rudolph had just beaten him out for the Steelers backup job and then Nick Foles ended up breaking his collarbone so the Jags needed some quarterback help and got Dobbs. He was waived to the following offseason and then ironically claimed by the Steelers where he spent the 2021 season on injured reserve. And now finally we're getting to see Josh Dobbs get his chance. It took such a long time and I will say Josh Dobbs is a guy that I've been rooting for for a very long time. I've been watching him since he came into the pros and I'm so pumped to watch him on the big stage and playing decent enough getting these starts. I absolutely loved Josh Dobbs in college. Growing up, I was a big Tennessee football fan that has changed a little bit over time, but even when Dobbs was there, I loved Josh Dobbs. Those Tennessee teams are truly some of my favorite ones ever with, you know, Jawan Jennings and even Alvin Kamara. Josh Dobbs at times was absolutely electric in college. He was a four-star coming out of Alpharetta High School in Georgia. And then his first two seasons at Tennessee, he actually did start a decent amount of games, but was never truly viewed as the starter. It was Justin Worley. Funny enough, the main reason why Nathan Peterman actually transferred from Tennessee to Pitt was because he could not beat out Josh Dobbs for the starting job. That forced Nathan Peterman to go to Pitt, where he ended up actually playing pretty well, and eventually making his way to the pros where he uh, didn't play as well. Over Josh Dobbs' first two years at Tennessee, he started in 11 games, threw for 11 touchdowns, and had 12 interceptions, and also rushed for 9 touchdowns. Eight of those came in 2014. So we got to see some progression of his legs, but obviously he did struggle throwing the football at times. Then he got to be the full-time starter in 2015 and 2016, and he played pretty well. In 2015, he passed for 2,291 yards, 15 touchdowns to only five interceptions, and he rushed for almost 700 yards and 12 touchdowns. Then 2016, he got even better threw for almost 3,000 yards, threw for 27 touchdowns, did throw 12 interceptions, and also rushed for 831 yards and 13 touchdowns. Now, Tennessee was actually pretty good with Josh Dobbs at quarterback. They went 9-4 and four in each of those seasons, and there were some great moments along the way, but none as memorable as his Hail Mary to Jawan Jennings as time expired to beat number 25 Georgia. Still, as a fan, that is one of my my favorite moments I've seen. I remember being absolutely ecstatic when it happened. It was just such a cool moment for something that special to happen to a team and for it to be against Georgia made it even better. Josh Dobbs was incredible at Tennessee. He had a lot of success. I'm so happy to see him have some success in the NFL now, but this guy is so much more than just his play on the field. This guy is literally a genius. When he was in Jacksonville, he had an internship with NASA. How many NFL players are smart enough to be at NASA along with playing in the NFL. NASA ended up getting him some recognition after the Vikings wild win, calling him the Pastronaut, which by the way is a sick nickname. I mean, this is just awesome, man. Josh Dobbs really is living his dream and who knows what this dude's going to be doing after the NFL. He might legitimately be building rockets for NASA. He's just so smart and now it kind of makes sense of how he was able to pick up the Vikings off offense so fast. He told Kevin O'Connell that whatever was in the game plan this week coming up into the game, that he could do it. And he did. Even without having to take any reps, without being able to actually practice it at all, he knew the game plan. He was able to execute those plays and he was able to help Minnesota win a game after being there for literally less than a week. Now, I don't know what the future holds for Josh Dobbs. He's not an elite quarterback. He's not going to be a long long time starter in the NFL. And that is just what it is for him. But that doesn't discredit what he is. And that is an incredible story that had to wait his turn and is now finally getting it all on the main stage and actually playing pretty well, especially for the Cardinals, for what that team is and what he needed to do. I think Josh Dobbs did perform well. And it's so cool to see him now play in the last 11 weeks of football and truly get his shot. This guy is just awesome. And I'm just so, so happy for him. What a cool story.